Hello, welcome back to my channel. So we're doing Random Fridays. So this is where we open up a package uh, that was sent to me. Uh, I don't know which one is this one particularly, so we're gonna check it out. Come on, let's open it. All right, so we're gonna open this package. So this one came from uh, Uncle Smith's Garage. So I don't know what this is, but let's check it out. Okay, so this is a tire gauge. So from Eaton Wolf. So Eaton Wolf tire gauge T300. So with this one, let's check the box. And for this one, so it has a range of three to 200 PSI. And it has different measurement, which is a bar and the KPA. So accuracy is plus minus one PSI, which is good. Uh, accuracy two, 2A according to I don't know what's 2A so but that's the grade on it so operating temperature is negative 4 up to 130 Fahrenheit or negative 20 to 54 Celsius so LED display says here more visible under sunshine compared to traditional LCD display so what's in the box so we have the actual tire pressure gauge AAA battery we have the uh, schrader uh, presta valve adapter you have a calibration sheet and a user manual so this is made in china yes all right so let's open this all right, so I checked some information about this and uh, with this one, uh, it is available on Amazon. So if you want to purchase this, I'll put the link on the description below. It is rated number one uh, um, digital tire uh, gauge on Amazon. So at the time of filming, it, it is $11.99 plus tax. So it is a good price. Um, if you want the digital one, if you don't know how to use the manual tire gauge, then this is one, the one for you. So for this one, let's check it and let's assemble it. Packaging is good though. Uh, it looks like a cell phone when you're unboxing a cell phone. Okay. So there you go. We're opening it up. Ooh. Yep. So everywhere. So yeah, so it has the user manual as it says in the box. It has the calibration uh, certificate in here, which is, yeah, it is very accurate. Yep, so this is good. So they're using Duracell as a battery, so yeah. Nice, this is nice. I like it so again if you're not uh yeah inclined using the manual one you can definitely use that uh you can use this on uh some basketball volleyball soccer ball football uh even when you're on your car you can use this one out if you are on the trail and you want to check your tire pressure. If you don't have a TPMS monitor in your vehicle, you can definitely use this. Um, should be helpful. But typically, if you're doing trail, you should, be, most of the time, you'll have the proper gear. So with this, let's check. So it has that compartment in there for the Schrader valve. So that's good. Now let's 
There you go. Let's power it on. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay, you just need to press that. So it lights up. It has a LED light in there. In case it's dark, you can see where your valve is. Uh, yeah. So let's try a, a basketball for now, all right? All right, so I inflated this ball to eight PSI. So with the needle in, most likely it is already losing pressure right now, but let's check it out. Uh, if there's any changes, just I'll actually press this one out. So 7.9. So yeah, it is accurate. So with my uh, tire inflator, it is eight PSI. Of course, when I remove the valve, it, it kind of uh, let some air go. And now it is uh, 7.9 PSI. So as you can see there, so it is accurate. So yeah, so the plus minus, it really goes to that one. Uh, Let's check the tire pressure uh, on my car. All right, so we're gonna check the PSI on my uh, car, the tire pressure on my car. So we're gonna check what does it says on the uh, dash. So let's wait for this to populate. It will populate in a moment. All right, so it says I have 33 PSI all around. Uh, so let's check at least the rear uh, back, uh, rear driver's side. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, let's check how accurate this one is. And we're just removing the valve cover. And now let's test this one out. And this is what's the good thing about this. It has a light. So if you're uh, somewhere dark, again, if you don't have TPMS, you can uh, use this. And it has a lit LCD in here, which you can easily see. So 32.9. So again, very close to it. Not bad, right? See, 33.1. So, yeah, so again, guys, this is accurate. Very close to what the dash is saying. So yeah, so if you want to purchase this, I'll put the link in the description below. It's an Amazon link. So yeah, so Eaton Wolf uh, Tire Gauge. So again, if you find this video helpful, thank you for watching.